Hi and welcome to another edition of the Volcanic Nectar Newsletter. I'm Brian, this is my wife Cora, and you know I've been watching on TV all the reality TV shows that have been going on. We thought, hey, let's make a reality version cooking show. So we're going to spend the next 30 minutes trying to find these bowls, measuring cups, and get everything measured, and you know, get our hair done and all that type of stuff. They make it look so easy on TV. If I, if I had all the ingredients ready, I could just dump it in and be all set to go, but that's, that's not the reality of it, and we won't bore you with that much footage of what it takes to, to clean the kitchen and to get everything mixed out. But uh, anyways, we've got it all set up here today, and today we're going to make a peach cobbler. It's that time of the year again, and it's good stuff. First thing we need to do is pick the peaches. Oh, I'm trying to get this branch up here. I think it's going to be impossible. It has some amazing peaches. Maybe I'll just opt for this one. But uh, we have such amazing peaches. They're big as softballs. See? They're very nice. And they make very delicious cobblers like the one you're going to hopefully try. And jams. I did some jams last year that were peach and raspberry, and they were so good with agave instead of sugar when you're canning. All right, well, Cora's hopping on her tree over there. I'm climbing the ladder. <laughs> Look at this. We were lucky enough when we moved into this house that the family that lived here before planted six peach trees. I'm not sure if you call that luck or if you call that a lot of work, but uh, anyways, we've got some great-looking peaches on these trees. Thankful that we've got them. Some things that uh, we've done with the peaches, like Cora said, is to make jams, but we also have been uh, canning, doing a lot of our own fresh peaches. In fact, I still think we have some left over from last year. This year, we got a little little more creative, and uh, our kids picked some peaches, went around the neighborhood, and sold them for about 50 cents a, a pound. So it was a great deal for the neighbors, plus the kids got to make some money. It was a fun family thing to do. Let's go make some peach gobbler. All right, we got our peaches. They're all diced up, ready to go. We got a few other ingredients here. Cora, you want to show us how this yeah. cobbler's made? Yeah. Well, basically, this is going to be the filling. This is the topping. And uh, went out and picked our peaches. I, I dumped in the uh, three tablespoons of lemon juice early, but get a three-quart pan. I'm doubling my recipe, so. We got to have. Um, you know, the guys always get frustrated when we show these videos in the office, and they're like. So, uh, Where's can, mine? Yeah, can you guys bring some of that to the office for us? And I wanted to make sure everybody got some. Now we're going to put in a half a cup of agave. I'm going to mix this all up, make sure I get all of it out, all the goodness out. And then we're going to put a little bit of Mexican vanilla, exactly uh, a half a teaspoon. And uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with two tablespoons of water. To thicken it, not to thicken it up. I always love cornstarch. It looks like it's just water, but then when you start mixing Moving it, it around, it's, it starts... it's all hard and solid. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Oh man, that's going to be so good once it starts baking and bubbling up. Can I just get a bowl of that? I know, it's like peaches and cream with that mm. cornstarch in there. All right. The next step is we're going to just add a little bit of butter on top. So I'm just going to, I'm going to add uh, about two tablespoons of butter and I'm just going to kind of just dot it on top there. Let's see, what's the best way to do it is... So I have some oat flour because I love oatmeal with my um, peach cobbler. It's just so yummy and home styling. And then I'm going to add some butter. Make it nice and golden brown on the top and give it that good yeah, yummy fat that it needs. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, get that get that mixed up until the butter is just, it looks coarse and crumbly. You might have to take a knife and just knock out a little bit of that. But you can use your fingers, we don't care. And then... Yeah, but the, the guys are going to see this in the office and then they're going to go, oh! Geez, Ryan touched it! Gross! <laughs> Can't have that. When that oat flour is mixed up with the butter, it's going to look like a nice, coarse, crumbly, yummy meal. And then we're going to add some of the liquid ingredients. Okay, we're going to get a good shot at this. This is what it should look like. A coarse, 
crumble with the butter pretty evenly dispersed. And then preheat your oven to 400, by the way. Get it nice and steamy hot for the cobbler. We're going to add some yummy milk, cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. Oh, don't use that anymore. Silly goose. <laughs> <laughs> I was helping. He's a silly billy. Okay, we're going to get a spoon. You have my little baking spoon over there. Alright, and some yummy agave. Yum. That is going to be so amazing. So not only does the topping have it, but the, the peaches have the agave in there too. So I didn't have to use sugar for anything, which is exciting. Okay, so basically we're just going to dollop this on top of the peaches and let a little bit of it show through so you can see the yummy peaches peeking through. Dollop is a uh, professional southern word that uh, <laughs> I like to uh, get you educated on the finer arts of cooking here. <laughs> Can you grab another spoon? Grab spoonfuls of it and take another spoon to just drop it off, kind of like cookie dough. But you know what? You could even add blackberries to this or raspberries. All right. So how long do you put this in the oven for? Oh, about a half an hour. Half but an with hour? our oven, about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Uh, okay. I think that's good enough because we're going to be like overloaded with cabla. Looks good. I seriously cannot wait to taste this. This is part of the reality cooking show here. The flying there, kitchen. let's make sure we get that in the shot. <laughs> okay, so this is how it's going to look before it goes in the oven. So delicious. Oh. Alright, I'm going to leave the sound effects to the sound effects guy. I'm going to scoop me up some of this goodness and take a bite. Let's see how, how it tastes. Mm-hmm. That is heaven sent. That is really good. I can't wait till everybody tries it. All made with agave. Thanks for joining us for this Volcanic Nectar Newsletter.